What's up guys, Sam Man back with another review and today we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Direct Batman the Animated Series Alfred Pennyworth Target Exclusive. Guys, you're probably gonna be surprised that I have this because this thing was not supposed to come out until I think late November if I'm not mistaken, but I found this at Target and it was the only one there. So the only way that you could get this guy in the original DC Direct line was if you ordered the super rare now Batcave, which I do have and I do have the Alfred that goes with it. Now, I was gonna pass on this guy, but then when I saw him in store, I was like, the paint apps are different. So you can notice here, this skin tone is a little bit lighter. We'll, we'll show you guys a closer look when we take him out of the packaging. And I left his foot somewhere, it's like stuck somewhere in the Batcave, but this is the one with the Batcave. This is the brand new one, so you have the Awesome packaging. I love the packaging on the new on the new waves. And it looks like he does come with all the accessories that the previously previous one came with, but he does come with a card. And again, the paint apps are different. On the side, you have an image right there of Alfred. And then on the back, you get pretty much the same image there. So I personally think, I mean, even though the first wave is still kind of hard to get, you don't really see them that often. I think this one's gonna be the more sought after one because of how rare this figure is. I think I've seen this guy sell just alone, like $300 if I'm not mistaken, maybe 200 just for the figure himself because the Batcave was the only way you can get this guy. And that Batcave now is super expensive. So let's open this guy up. Let's see if it's a pickup. Let's see if it's a pass. And we'll see if the... Uh, you know, how it compares with the original one. So let's open them up. All right, guys, so Alfred does come with several accessories. First off, you get your Alfred card, which I think is awesome that they did this. This definitely has a 90s feel to it. I said that with the first wave. I like that he's doing these cards and I'm glad it's not a picture of the figure. It definitely has a lot of a 90s feel, which I love. So we got the card. You get a total of three different pairs of hands, and that's including the ones with the that are displayed on the figure. So you know, so you can have them holding on to some of the accessories, and then you also get a tray, which is pretty cool. Now on this tray, you can display a bunch of stuff. I mean, you have another little plate here if you want to display his coffee, which you can probably actually put liquid on. So there is that there. You can actually display that on the little plate. Uh, you also have a little coffee, another like different type of coffee cup. Kind of looks like there's liquid in it. You get this one here. This I don't even know what this is. It looks like he could probably have some soup in this. And you get the little dust buster as well. So you can brush off the dust because he is dusting. And then you also get this big one right here, which could have, again, maybe tea in it, maybe coffee. I mean, who knows, right? But you get a bunch of accessories, a bunch of little cups and plates to go with the figure. So now, right here is Alfred Pennyworth. Now, I'm going to bring out the previous one so you can see the difference in the skin tone. This one almost looks kind of like it's almost like it's translucent. This is the original one. And this is the new one. Honestly, I think I, I don't know. I kind of prefer the new one. What do you guys think? I mean, they both look great. They're both the same figure, but I might prefer the paint apps better on the newer one. So you have the white hair, the soft goods right here, back of the jacket, and the little vest, the buttons, the bow tie. You have his hands right here. Over here, we have just the, it's all pretty much just black. That's pretty much, it's like a shiny, glossy black. Then you have his little dress shoes here. I mean, overall, this is a great sculpt and a great looking figure. And like I said, you're definitely gonna need a Alfred Pennyworth with your Batman the Animated Series collection. Now, in the way of the articulation, so the head sculpt can rotate. You can see right there. Also goes up and down, you can kind of tilt it side to side. The arms do go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the elbow. Also has rotation in the lower arm. The hand rotates, also has a hinge. Legs go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the knee, and the little feet here can rotate. Uh, they don't really go up and down, and I don't think he's got any kind of waist articulation. So kind of limited in articulation, but I mean, you're not gonna really get Alfred in a bunch of crazy poses, are you? Now, one thing I'm noticing about the accessories, right? So I, I don't have the accessories from my previous figure. It's it's actually in the box with the Batcave. Now, these are not gonna fit, right? I don't, this is not gonna fit his hand. But the other hands right here, which are closed fists, there's no hole in them. So if you wanted to display this, so I don't really know how you can display the, the, the feather duster or dust buster, 
but I mean, he can hold on to it. It's just going to be, watch if you see, it's just going to be really, really loose. There you go, guys. There's my quick little review on the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Direct Batman the Animated Series Alfred Pennyworth. Now, it's pretty awesome that you can get this guy now individually without having to buy the Batcave. And again, if you get him to stand next to the previously previous Alfred, you can see it's the exact same figure. It's just that skin tone is obviously a lot different, but they both look great. They both look fantastic. And the suit is painted a little bit different. And you know what? It, I don't know. It, it almost looks like they are different though, like the body, but I think it's just the paint that's really throwing it off because it is even the outfit is different. Um, the hands is the only issue that you can't really hold on to the, I mean, I guess the dust buster, you can't, it's not a big deal. I just dropped it. Not a big deal that you can't get him to hold on to it. Great, but he can hold on to the tray for the most part and you can put some of the accessories on there. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Is this figure a pickup? Is it a pass? Did you guys manage to pick him up the first time? Are you guys happy that now you can get him the second time around, let me know your overall thoughts on this figure and what it means to you. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Again, sorry for the lighting. I've been filming in a different area for these past reviews, but we'll get into regular you know, recording process um, soon enough. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon.